Um, I'm Andrew Fatona, and um, I have worked as a curator for the past really long time. Um, I started in the early 90s. And I came to curatorial practice out of necessity. Um, out of necessity um, while living in Vancouver, primarily because there were no images of black folks or, or um, works by black artists that were being um, presented in galleries. And I came to my practice at a time when um, First Nations artists and artists of color were contesting um, who belongs to the nation and the types of works um, being shown. So it was a really important time, like Pam said, it was a time when we were all um, looking to Britain and the United States for um, their uh, work and the type of work they were doing in terms of um, a relationship between artists and the academy. Um, so I started, the first piece of work I did was Hogan's Alley um, that uh, Wade talked about. And Hogan's Alley is a 30-minute documentary that documents the, um, the lives of three black women in the community of Hogan's Alley. And um, that work was co-directed with a uh, white artist, an <coughs> artist from Vancouver named Cornelia Weingarten. Um, much of my work is really actually concerned as well with um, collaboration and inserting um, blackness within the frame of um, art presentation. So my work's also concerned with what I think is um, trying to think through a black geography. So Hogan's Alley marks that, as well as this work by Melinda Molino called Cadbury Bay, Index to an Incomplete History. And that work looked at um, placing the black subject within the landscape of, of um, BC, um, thinking through, trying to make visible the histories and negotiations of black folks in that space. Um, in the early, at the turn of the century. My work's also concerned with um, community arts projects. So uh, in, in 2001, I animated a community arts project that um, brought together high school students, um, the Artist Run Center, um, and community organizations in Peterborough to talk about environmental racism. So um, we brought in Richard Fung and a number of media artists to work with um, students to produce media works that take up issues around environmental racism, as well as work with Caroline Lancho, who is the Dean of Liberal Studies and Interdisciplinary something here, <laughs> <laughs> to work with uh, students to, to recycle or drums and paint images that take up this notion of environmental racism on them. Um, the work circulated um, to all the high schools in the Peterborough School District, as well as was part of the Community Arts Biennial in Toronto at A Space Gallery. Um, by 2004, I became really concerned with inserting Canada into discussions around um, black diaspora. I had the opportunity to go to Miami on a fellowship um, called Interrogating the African Diaspora. I was really quite struck by the fact that Canada was absent from any imaginings of what diaspora was about, and, uh, as well as how we perform diaspora, the kinds of contacts we have with each other across space, and also I guess across time. So um, as part of my concern with inserting um, black diaspora, having conversations across the nation space of Canada, um, and to place us in conversation with other diasporic people, I organized an exhibition called Attack of the Sandwich Man. Um, and Attack of the Sandwich Man was a, a collaborative exhibition that included Christopher Cozy from Trinidad and Richard Thorne from Toronto. Um, the work is really looking at post-colonial Trinidad, but in a way, I think, also gestured to a discussion about the place of our Caribbean descended folks in Toronto. In 2007, as part of continuing this discussion around um, placing Canada within the frame of Black Diaspora, I organized a tour exhibition um, with Deanna Bowen called Reading the Image, Poetics of the Black Diaspora. Um, the exhibition included Deanna, Chris Cozier, Michael Fernandez, and Maud Salter. Um, Maud Salter from Britain, Michael Fernandez from Nova Scotia, Chris from Trinidad, and Deanna from Toronto. Um, but in this catalog here are um, essays by Ronaldo Walcott and Peter Hudson. In 2000 and 2008, I um, started a job as the Contemporary Arts Curator at the Ottawa Art Gallery in Ottawa. 
And um, I realized at that time that I was really interested in looking at work or presenting work that was really work that I thought was quite beautiful. Up until now, my um, focus was really about inserting politics, doing something that seemed like, you know, it was really out of necessity to insert a certain type of work within the frame of the gallery. This work at, uh, for Fibered Optics was really looking at um, craft, the notion of fiber as a three-dimensional object, um, and trying to think through the ways in which um, artists who work at the intersection of craft and fine art use this object. So that exhibition included Francis Dorsey from uh, Nova Scotia, Jerome Hobb, who at the time was living in Montreal, and Pian from Toronto and Michel Provost from uh, the Gatineau. And I'll just end with this exhibition um, called uh, Landmarks, which is a Victorian <coughs> exhibition, originated in Chatham last um, summer, um, opens in Windsor in about a month, and then tours to Peterborough after that. The exhibition uh, is co-curated with uh, Catherine Dennis, who is a graduate of OCAD's curatorial program, and it includes artists Marianne Barkhouse, Wendy Coburn, um, Brendan Fernandez, Jerome Hopp, and Susan Goldsmith, all Canadian artists. Um, this work's looking at the ways in which we categorize um, how we live in the world and we create categories, and the ways in which the land we live on actually circumscribes or marks the ways in which our identities are formed within these spaces. So that's my work. Thank you.